Yo, what's going on guys? So in today's video, I am going to be giving you guys the new best settings for chapter 5 of Fortnite. Fortnite has made some changes on this game, like the movement and stuff like that. But yeah, I will be giving you guys the new best settings for Nintendo Switch. Now, before we get into that, be sure you guys are using code ZENTER in the Fortnite item shop. This is completely free and it is the best way to support me. And I really appreciate it. Now, before we get into these settings, I'm gonna try to get a win with these settings to show you guys how good these settings are. So yeah, without further ado let's get right into it all right so i'm thinking we should land like grand glacier yeah let's just go here be your medallion bro bro i need that medallion bro. bro what the i didn't even know he could do that bro i swear this guy has infinite hp bro just die Bro, die. Oh my god. Bro, there's no way I'm about to die to this bot, bro. Please, just die now, bro. He's so low. Thank you. That medallion guy really made me low, bro. Holy. Bro, oh my god. Leave me alone. No mats. Oh my god. Thankfully, he was a bot, bro. Damn, man. He had a medkit for me. There might be people. Bro, what? Oh my god, bro. That was nasty, bro. Let's go. Can I get two? I'll take it. Seems to be... Oh my god. Bro. Oh, don't run away. Let's go. Come on. Oh my god, bro. Bro, there's someone there. Let's go, bro. This sniper is so good, bro. Honestly. What was the other guy he was fighting? He wasn't fighting. Oh, there. Where is he going, bro? What? Oh, yeah. I need this break. What? Only six break? 1v1. Let's go. But where is this guy, bro? Can't see him anywhere. Oh, there. Cracked. I need to push this. Oh. Let's go. Let's go, guys. We got the W. Alright, so let's get right into the settings. So starting off, a lot of you guys have been asking me how my game looks so good. So yeah, here is my color settings. So brightness, you want to be sure you have this on 100%. And moving down here, colorblind mode on tritinope and colorblind strength on 10. This is how my game looks so good. So yeah, if you guys want your game to look like mine, be sure to put it on these color settings. Now show FPS, I have this on on of course, because this way I can see how much fps i have if i'm lagging or anything like that and yeah it's just a good thing to have so be sure to have show fps on on and these two you want to have this on off and this on disabled moving over here fortnite has changed this so audio settings now is on the second nothing much to say sometimes i change the voice chat or something like that sometimes i'll also turn it off it depends who i'm playing with and stuff like that but yeah but what's really important in this tab right here is visual sound effects so yeah you want to be sure you have visual sound effects on on because this way you can see wherever people are shooting from on your screen and also majority of pro players are using this so if you don't have this on on you're really missing out so yeah be sure to have this on on all right and a matchmaking region you want to be sure you have this on wherever you're located at so me for instance europe because i live here because this obviously reduces input delay if you have it on the wrong one so yeah be sure to choose the one 
you're located at and instead of auto also because i've heard this is better so yeah be sure to put this on the one that's in your area so yeah all right and toggle sprint you want to be sure you have this on on of course if you're using my binds also and auto open doors be sure you have auto open doors on on because let's say you accidentally edit a door instead of you having to press a button like y to open it it'll automatically open and yeah so be sure to have auto open doors on on all right and mental activation be sure to have this on hold jump and the same on this one when you're using my binds i would say you have to put these two on hold jump and i will be getting into my binds later in the video so be sure to stick around to the end all right and if you guys need this go ahead but let me show you guys my preferred item slot if you're clueless on what preferred item slots and what works best i'm gonna show you guys how mine looks i want to say this tab right here is basically personal preference but I will show you guys what I have it on. All right, so starting off, I have my SMG on this first slot and then shotgun and AR and then a mini or a med kit right here. Now, why do I have it on this? It's because after I shoot my shotgun, I can instantly go to my SMG or after shooting my shotgun, I can instantly go to the AR. I feel like this is the most comfortable for me. So yeah, if you guys like the way I have it, you guys can go ahead and copy it. Now, if you guys need this, go ahead but i have my auto confirm edits on both this makes it a lot easier and faster to edit especially if you're using my binds let me just show you guys how i edit so first of all i press this button right here and then select and confirm and to reset i literally only press these two buttons right here but i will be getting into the details later in this video but yeah you want to be sure you have this on both all right and if you guys need any of these right here go ahead now damage numbers i have this on list this is personal preference but i like the way it looks when hitting somebody and it's on list so yeah if you guys like the way i have it you guys can go ahead and put it on that now my damage number scale is also on 125 percent this makes it very clear how much i've hit them for and it's also just satisfying to see because yeah it clearly shows you how much you've hit somebody for so yeah if you guys also want that be sure to put this on 125 percent now my hud scale is on 70 percent the reason i have it on 70 is because fortnite automatically puts your hud scale on 100 percent which is way too big and anything under 70 i feel like it's too small so yeah i feel like 70 percent is just perfect it doesn't cover up your screen and it's not like too small so you can't see your hud scale be sure to put your hud scale on 70 percent now if you guys need any of these go ahead now gyro aiming i have gyro aiming on off literally not seen any pro players use these it's mostly creative warriors but you can't get good on creative without gyro aiming as well so instead of you only being good at creative you can be good at both creative and real matches so yeah gyro aiming is just weird you have to move your controller like this to aim so yeah i would not recommend you have this on on so yeah be sure to have gyro aiming on off now a controller auto run be sure you have this on on of course build immediately on on but yeah vibration you want to be sure you have vibration on off people will say this is personal preference but i would really recommend that you have vibration on off and let me tell you why because when you're getting shot at or anything like that it vibrates on your controller which is not very comfortable and it shows on your screen so there's really no reason for this and i've also heard that this can mess with your aim as well but yeah i would recommend you have this on off but yeah if you guys need these go ahead but now comes the most important part my sensitivity without further ado let's just get right into my sensitivity all right so my build mode sensitivity is on 1.5 and my edit mode sensitivity is on 1.9 and of course be sure you enable advanced options of course because or else you won't get access to the advanced sensitivities so yeah be sure to have this on on now getting down here look horizontal speed on 45 percent and look vertical speed on 45 percent too and i have no turning 
putting horizontal boost or vertical boost on it and getting down here i have ads look horizontal speed on 11 percent and ads look vertical speed on 11 percent too and no boost again on the ads turning vertical and horizontal now down here i have my input curve on linear i've always used linear so yeah and also if you put this on exponential my settings won't work because of course i have my settings on linear so be sure you put this on linear now aim is strength of course you want to have this on 100 percent why would you not have this on 100 percent it's literally free aim assist so yeah be sure to put this on 100 percent now my dead zone my left stick and right stick dead zone is both on 13 percent let me tell you guys something i've never experienced stick drift on any of my controllers since putting this on 13 percent so yeah i would really recommend you put this on 13 percent because i feel like it's the best dead zone for your controller so uh, yeah be sure to put this on 13 percent now here comes my binds so let me first just jump into my specific um changes in these binds and after that give you the rest of my binds of course so you guys are able to get everything right so yeah all right so starting off yo guys i forgot to mention one thing in the video because i know i'm gonna get a lot of comments on this so i forgot to mention how i sprint this on right d-pad a lot of you guys think that you have to sprint like this but no of course that will not work just move forward and press this button i just had to cover that up real quick uh back to the video i love you guys i have my jump on right stick this way i don't have to take my finger off the sticks and when we get down here i have my editing on left stick i have my reset on l and confirm on r and i select on uh, zr so basically when i edit it looks like this edit select and confirm very simple i don't need to take my finger off the sticks like pressing a to edit it's con it's edit select and confirm and to reset it's even more simple because i have my auto confirm edits on both for me to reset i only need to press one button or two buttons actually it's just edit and reset right here it's really really simple and really straightforward these are by far the best editing binds for non-claw i would say so so yeah and i've just switched around jumping also with the crouch so yeah usually you jump with this button right here but i've put that on crouch instead because you use you know jumping a lot more than crouch and it's not even if you have to crouch it's just quickly press it's not hard to get to it but when you're building and stuff like that it's a lot easier to have jump on something that is not something you have to take your finger off the sticks to do but yeah like i said i will be giving you guys the rest of my but yeah like i said i will be giving you guys the rest of my binds now to make it all work so yeah without further ado let's just get into it But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And use code ZENTER in the Fortnite item shop. Like said before, this is the best way to support me. And it is completely free. So yeah, I would really appreciate if you guys could use 5 seconds of your day to type in code ZENTER. It would be really appreciated. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these settings will help you get better for Chapter 5 of Fortnite. And also, if you guys are curious on the accessories used in this video, check out the link in the description they are from play vital but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and peace out